Hi there, uh, this is Jeff, and uh, I just wanted to share with everyone, there's not many videos on the uh, CD Crossfire boot, and uh, anyway, I got these, this was a Christmas present, uh, partially to myself, and I also had a little help from my father and, and Donna, and they both contributed to this, uh, to this purchase, this is a pair of, this, these are the boots I've been wanting for a while. I made the uh, initial mistake. I've been running a standard motocross boot, uh, leather, and everything else. I thought, well, I need to get a better boot, and I got the Tech 6 boot. And after getting that, I was like, wow, this is not a very good boot. At least for me, it didn't work out. There's a lot of people that love the Tech 6 boots, but there was no ankle flex. I couldn't move my foot. I couldn't shift. I couldn't feel the brake lever. I couldn't, I, it, it, this part was so thick right here that I couldn't actually get it underneath the shift lever and uh, I ended up not wearing them and I ended up just selling them on Craigslist. Uh, luckily I broke pretty even on them because uh, I got a good deal on them. But I wanted to just give a quick review of what I think about the uh, CD Crossfires and uh, why I think this is a boot. Um, first thing, everyone I know that has ever ran these boots won't run anything else. They're just like, best boot ever. No hand, I mean, no question about it, hands down, best boot ever. Replaceable sole. I expect you to have it for a long time. You can switch soles with different types that have side protection and other things like that. Um, the, uh, the toe, I was talking about the shifting. Look how narrow this toe is. I'll show you my, uh, my shoe here. And here is my shoe. And there is the CD boot right there. Look at that, that is about the same size as my Oakley shoe. Now, shoe back on since the floor is wet. Uh, everything is replaceable. The top plastic, all the plastics are replaceable. All the buckles are nice, hinged, heavy duty buckles. These are ones that have a lot of throw on them, so you don't have to actually, uh, they got a ramp on them, so you don't have to get them very close to get them to snap in. Um, the uh, the boot, the biggest thing on these boots is the ankle protection and the flexibility. And this is what I want to show you in this video. It's very much for my dad and Donna because they helped out on this purchase. So I'm going to hold this here. And on a regular motocross boot, this doesn't move. You have an L-shaped boot, that's what you wear. I'm going to go ahead and extend the toe. Look at that. Look at that toe extension. That hits the back stop, so that is how far this boot will go. That is the maximum thing. My foot will go about that same distance. Okay? And look at that again. Straight, extended. That's extending on the hinge. Now, you want to come back. Look at that. Look at that flex. Look at the actual motion. I'm holding the top still. That's on the hinge. All the rest of the time, the hinge prevents twisting or binding uh, or damaging of your ankle. It has this heavy duty stop in the back that when it extends to a certain point, it actually stops and binds up. That is why everyone loves this boot, is because of the comfort. It's narrow. It feels like you're wearing a tennis shoe. And you have this amazing flexibility. Now for the people who are not family who are watching this video, I would like to recommend that if you're going to be out there looking at motocross boots, don't make the mistake I made. Don't make the mistake of buying a boot and saying, well, those are kind of expensive and then regretting it later and then going back a couple years later and buying these because the price will only go up. So as you start to open up the boot, it opens up. Look at that. I mean, this boot fully opens up. Undo this nearly waterproof, nearly, they say it's not, but everyone says it is, top. And you look inside there, and that's where you drop your foot in. It's got uh, wicking material. It's all synthetic. It's got a good arch support inside the boot. It's got padding. It's got a removable insole, which 
is not riveted down like most boots are. This insole is actually removable. But you can open this boot up like that, get your feet in it, and because of the design of it, you don't need to wear the big thick socks. Just wear some wicking socks and that's all you need. You don't need the big massive motocross socks like what you normally have to wear. Just some thin regular tube socks is actually what you need on boots like this. So anyway, that is the CD Crossfire. Drop your foot in there. Velcro it back together. Plenty of room for your knee guards. Start snapping it back together. You can see the quality of these hinges. Everything is replaceable. Um, just slip it in. Slides in very easy. The hinges work and the snaps work flawlessly. And uh, anyway, that is my personal opinion. Uh, it's got some wear guards on the sides on the motocross or on the uh, motorcycle side, and this is actually rubber. A lot of bikes, this is leather, or a lot of manufacturers, this is leather. Uh, they use actual rubber on this, so hopefully that'll give some better uh, stuff. So one last time, look at the look at the actual ability to move in these boots. Very good. So love the boot. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, if anyone is considering motocross boots, take a good look at that. Might work for you. Thanks.